Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe the action of adrenaline in cell signaling. This includes activation of adenylyl cyclase and the role of cyclic AMP as a second messenger. In the last video, we looked at the fight or flight response. Remember that during a stressful event, adrenaline is secreted by the adrenal medulla into the bloodstream. Now, adrenaline triggers a number of different effects in a range of target cells, and one of the most important effects is in the liver. Adrenaline triggers liver cells to convert glycogen stores into glucose. Scientists call this process glycogenolysis. The glucose produced is then released into the bloodstream. Muscle cells can then use the glucose to release energy via respiration, with the energy being used for muscle contraction. So in this video, we're going to look at how adrenaline triggers glycogenolysis in liver cells. Now, adrenaline is a hydrophilic hormone. This means that adrenaline cannot pass through the cell surface membrane. In the membrane of liver cells, we find receptors for adrenaline. These receptors are transmembrane proteins spanning the cell surface membrane. Adrenaline binds to the extracellular section of the receptor. In other words, the part of the receptor facing the outside of the cell. This forms an adrenaline receptor complex. The binding of adrenaline causes the tertiary structure of the receptor protein to change on the cytoplasmic side of the receptor. This shape change now activates an enzyme called adenylyl cyclase. And I should point out that adenylyl cyclase is also called adenyl cyclase. The active form of adenylyl cyclase now converts ATP to a molecule called cyclic adenosine monophosphate. This is also called cyclic AMP, or CAMP. Scientists call molecules like cyclic AMP a second messenger. So in this system, the adrenaline is the first messenger, and the cyclic AMP is the second messenger. Now a key idea you need to understand is that one molecule of adenylyl cyclase can produce a large number of cyclic AMP molecules. So a relatively small number of adrenaline molecules can lead to a large amount of second messenger. Scientists call this a cascade effect. OK, so we've now formed the second messenger cyclic AMP in the cell cytoplasm. But how does cyclic AMP trigger glycogenolysis? Well, the cyclic AMP now binds to enzymes called protein kinases. When cyclic AMP binds, the shape of the protein kinase enzyme changes to an active form. Now, when they're activated, protein kinase enzymes add a phosphate group onto other enzymes. Scientists call this process phosphorylation, and phosphorylation activates the target enzyme. In this case, the enzyme that is activated catalyzes the conversion of glycogen to glucose, in other words, glycogenolysis. The glucose then moves out of the liver cell and into the bloodstream. This takes place through membrane channel proteins via facilitated diffusion. OK, so hopefully now you can describe the action of adrenaline in cell signaling. 